Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so just a real quick one today. Um, so what I want to do today is install some sort of um, rainwater collection for my greenhouse gutter. Uh, so I've got given a big old water butt and uh, when I was in the shop the other day, I found a little funnel. I'll just go get that and show you. Yeah, so this little funnel here was 25p. So I was thinking, uh, somehow I can attach that to there and the hose point actually fits perfectly on the end of the funnel. So um, I've got to have a little think and a little fiddle, see what I can kind of come up with. Uh, but I'm pretty confident that I can get that this attached with the hose pipe on the bottom and collect the rainwater in my big barrel. So I'll get back to you in a sec guys and show you what I'm up to. Okay, so I've just been testing out the gutter and it works quite well because I've actually um, s accidentally sloped the greenhouse this way. Uh, so I'm thinking of putting this funnel here, uh, but I need to cut. You can just see where that little notch is there. I need to cut a little bit out so that it can go underneath the edge of the gutter. Um, so I'll get that done in a second. And then I should just be able to screw that onto this bit of wood here. Uh, if, if if you haven't, obviously you won't have wood on your greenhouse because um, I've just blanked off this side. But uh, the aluminium is really quite soft, so uh, you can drill a little hole in. Um, it should work quite well. So this actually fits perfectly on the end of the hose. Uh, it's quite a snug fit, so. And I can force it on even more once it's up, but that's not coming off. Um, if needs be, you can get um, one of them little clamps so she can tighten with a little Phillips screwdriver. Uh, they use them in the cars a lot for holding pipes together. Um, and I'm just going to run the hose down and into that barrel. Um, it's not got a top on it and it hasn't got a tap, but it was full of rainwater and I've used all of that already this year. Um, just dunk the watering can in and collect the water. Um, I could install a tap on it, but uh, I don't really see the point. Uh, so, Storm's having a little sunbeave over there. Oh, one of our cats. <laughs> uh, so I've just got a little hacksaw here. And I'm just going to hack that bit of metal off there. And we'll see how we go. Okay, so I managed to get that bit of metal off there. Uh, once I cut most of the way through, I'll just wiggle it and it just comes off. It's a really soft metal, the aluminium. So that will now fit there. And luckily I've got this bit of wood here, like I said. So I can put a screw straight through there into that bit of wood. And that should work quite well. Okay, so got that on. Uh, unfortunately, I did crack it a little bit. I uh, just pulled the screw in a little bit too tight. Uh, I did pre-drill the holes as well, but uh, it shouldn't matter. The water should go past that and just flow down anyway. So uh, if needs be, I can seal it with something. Maybe even seal up the edge there, but I don't see it being a problem. So uh, I'll attach the hose now and then we'll test it, see if it works. Because uh, it should. Luckily my whole garden's on a sloop, so from here I can run the pipe straight down to the barrel and... It's actually quite a lot lower than uh, where I am anyway. Okay, so the hose pipe is attached. And I just found this. Uh, I had lying around. I've got loads of these from somewhere. Uh, but I thought if I just screw it on the inside of there, and then I can just poke the pipe through. Because uh, it fits perfectly. And that should hold it in. Screw it underneath. And I should just stop it coming out. And I can pull it out easily if I need to. So a couple of screws in there, or little bolts. And, and that should be, should work. Okay, so that's on now. So that should be enough just to hold it. Uh, it's only temporary anyway, so um, it's not like a permanent fixture or anything. I can just pull the hose off there, pop it off the end there. And I can just attach it whenever we're due some rain. 
So now I'm going to go over there and get the hose and give it a spray and see what happens. Right, so I'm going to turn the hose on. Right, you ready? Can you see me? <laughs> Alright, we've got water coming out. So, we need a slightly bigger funnel, but it works. Okay, so it definitely works, uh, but the funnel, the hole's a bit small, uh, but so it does overflow. Uh, but that was, that was simulating sort of a really heavy rain shower, so uh, a light drizzle on that, and it should just go straight down. Uh, if it overflows in heavy rain, then doesn't really matter it would only be going down onto the grass anyway so as long as the majority of it makes it to the barrel hopefully uh, so that's a real simple way to set up a uh, gutter in I suppose for your greenhouse uh, rainwater collection okay guys so that was a uh, successful uh, I think so uh, really simple it's taken me about five ten minutes to do that uh, I could do something more permanent but for now, I just want to be able to collect water in that barrel. Um, that's basically the cheapest and easiest way I could think of doing it. So that's a simple way to adapt your gutter on your greenhouse to collect rainwater. Uh, just using a cheap little funnel. So just using one of them. And running it down to a water butt uh, is a simple, cheap way of doing it. I already have the hose. And the, uh, the, what do you call them, funnel, <laughs> uh, that was 25p, so uh, I did pick up a bigger one as well, so, you know, or I could trim the end on, because they've got like a tapered end, so I could trim it a bit further up to make the hole a bit bigger, but I'm quite happy uh, that at least I can collect rainwater off of one side of my greenhouse, uh, so that's good enough for me for now, so anyway guys. So just a real quick video, just wanted to show you that. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one, uh, have a great week.